So one of the things that people probably don't know is that cows burp a lot of methane. If we can work out ways to stop cows producing methane, then this will have a really big impact on our global greenhouse gas emissions. A group of Australian researchers about five years ago found this one particular type of seaweed that when added to the cow uh, feed at less than 2% of the, the dry matter, it actually completely knocks out methane production. Right here on the Sunshine Coast, it's like the epicentre of biodiversity for this one type of seaweed called Asparagopsis. So it's a red, puffy, pink-ish uh, seaweed that we have off the coast. It's actually pretty common and you would actually see it if you, you go snorkelling or at the beach. So we know the chemical composition of Asparagopsis and we know the chemical compound that actually reduces the methane production from cows. So we actually want to be able to maximise the concentration of that chemical within the seaweed so we can use less seaweed for the same effect. Globally, agriculture is responsible for 6% of global greenhouse gas emissions and methane is actually a much more potent greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide, so it's 28 times the heating potential of CO2. And most of that um, agricultural production of methane is coming from livestock that are ruminants, so cows, sheep and goats. If we're able to work out how to scale up this seaweed to become uh, at a level that can feed all of the, the cows and the sheep and the goats around the world, then it's going to have a huge impact on the climate. It's going to address a whole lot of carbon neutral agendas that different countries have, and it's ultimately going to save us all billions of dollars.